If you are a sci-fi movie fanatic, then this particular mind-bender movie could be your next target to watch. Welcome to Kaylee King. Today, I'll be giving the rundown of a sci-fi thriller movie from 2021, titled Warning. Let's get right into it. The theme of the movie is set in distant future, where six stories are shown simultaneously. Each story has its own unique plot, characters, and a specific learning. Now the first story begins with a man, David, who can be seen repairing a satellite. Suddenly, a malfunction causes David to lose grip, and he gets thrown away into space. He tries contacting ground control, but only hears the word warning again and again. The scene then changes to Earth, where we see the story of a man, Brian. Brian is a technician and engineer, who makes robots and sells them for a living. Today, he can be seen welcoming a customer, Claire. Claire wants to buy a robot that can do household chores, and take care of her parents. Brian introduces Claire to a robot, Charlie. The three of them sit together and Charlie introduces himself. While talking, Charlie cracks a dark joke, making Claire reject him. Brian drops Charlie back to his tent, and tells him to not feel bad about being rejected. He then goes to his room and starts calling customers to sell Charlie. But unfortunately, all the customers reject him, and he feels bad for Charlie. Then the scene changes to David, who is still trying to contact ground control. But, all his efforts go in vain. Now we get introduced to a concurrent story, where we see a girl, Claire. Claire wakes up, and asks her Alexa-like device to tell an inspirational quote. This device is called God, and it records all the sins committed by its user. Claire's life actually revolves around this very device called God, and it guides her every action. Now, she goes to walk on the treadmill and listens to the spiritual music selected by God. Then she looks out of the window and sees a little girl waving at her. That little girl is actually David's daughter and she lives with her mom. Now, Claire gets in her car to leave, but accidentally hits the car behind her. She decides to leave as if nothing happened, but the God detects it, and calls it a sin. God tells her that she can remove all the nine sins, she has committed this month at a cost of $26 each. At night, Claire reads a spiritual book and goes to sleep. There, a notification pops up, and asks her permission to update his God to God 2.0. She says yes, and the God updates itself overnight. Then Brian's story resumes, and we see that he is looking to do a routine checkup on Charlie. Here, we see that Brian is slightly sad, and it seems like he is hiding something from Charlie. Nevertheless, Charlie gets on the machine, and Brian hesitantly pulls the lever. It turns out, the checkup machine was actually a crusher, and Charlie gets destroyed in it. Brian cries while he takes Charlie's destroyed parts in a trolley. Then the scene changes again to Claire's story, who surprisingly wakes up at 10 AM. She was used to getting awake by God's voice, but God was not working today. So she calls God's customer service, and finds out that the last update caused some malfunction. And now she has to go to the Holy Genius Bar for the repair. The scene changes there, and we get to see a new story by the name of Shadow Walker. In this story, a guy, Ben, is using a high-tech device to relive his memories. He is actually obsessed with his previous relationship, and uses the device to relive the moments he spent with his girlfriend. In the story, we see that Ben's girlfriend, Anna, is in her room, and a silhouette of a guy is stalking her. After that, we see that Anna is going to Ben's home for dinner. But on the way home, she stops to check something in her purse. She looks back, and sees the shadow of a person looking at her. She gets super scared and starts running. Then the scene changes to David, who is now getting farther and farther away from Earth. He is recording messages as to how he doesn't deserve this, and God is wrong to punish him. Then we get back to the Shadow Walker story, where someone is watching Anna and Brian make out, and saves the memory as favorite. Afterwards, we see Anna and Ben spending some quality time together. Anna reveals to Ben that she sees a shadow, who keeps following her. Ben calms her down because he too doesn't know who is behind that shadow. Then, Anna looks out of the window, and sees that shadow getting closer. The shadow gets too close to her and she finds out who he is. Ben's device shows an error that he is too close to the subject, and stops working. Ben gets tense and removes the device. Then we get back to Claire's story who has come to the Holy Genius Bar with God. There, a support executive tells her the last update was bugged, and this version of God is now gone. He tells her to buy a new version of God, and it will be shipped to her by tomorrow. Claire comes home and tries to pray, but she is so used to praying with God that she is unable to do so manually. The next day, she receives God 2.0 which has an eternal battery life. She starts talking to it, but it shows her many advertisements. She gets frustrated and accidentally curses. God records her sin and asks her to pay for the sin she has committed. Claire gets super frustrated by this, and throws God out of the window. 
Then a new story starts, where a boy named Liam, and a girl named Nina are in love with each other. Born in a wealthy family, Liam is actually immortal as his family can afford the technology that prevents humans from aging. On the other hand, Nina is just a regular mortal girl. Today, Nina has come to Liam's house to meet his family. The family sits together at the dining table, and they talk about the guy David who is floating in space. Nina says that somebody should go and save him, but Liam's dad says the rescue mission is impossible. On this, Liam says that he finds death poetic. But his mom says, why are you worried about death? We have everything. Liam now tells his mom that you shouldn't say things like that because Nina is immortal. Liam's mom gets surprised as she was expecting Liam to love another immortal. She expresses her denial for Liam and Nina's marriage as Nina would die one day, and leave Liam in pain. But Liam is sure about his decision of marrying Nina, and even wants to become mortal again. His mother gets shocked by this and says that once you turn it off, you'll not be able to turn it on again. Don't waste your life on this puny girl. Then all of them start arguing and Nina goes out to smoke. Then the story of Ben resumes, who is standing outside Anna's home calling for her. They actually went through a breakup because Nina found out that Ben was using that weird device to stalk her. Now Nina comes down from her apartment and asks Ben to forget her. She threatens him by saying that if he doesn't leave, she'll call the cops. Ben is not ready to leave, so Anna shocks him with a taser, and leaves him trembling in the hallway. Then we see David again, who's now feeling lonely in the space. He talks to his AI and thinks that he deserves all this because he couldn't be a good father and a good husband. Then a new story starts, where we see a girl named Magda. Magda lives with her mother, who's a drug addict and does nothing. So she has to do illegal activities to earn money. She is leaving her house for the weekend as she has an offer for a job. Then we see a man, who has come into a five-star hotel with a bag. He goes to his room and puts some weird things he has bought with him on the table. There, we see a laptop that shows a service called Second Skin. This is actually an illegal service where the minds of two people can be swapped. So, the man has paid to switch his consciousness into the 17-year-old Magda. Now we see Magda talking to her friend about her job. Her friend is worried about her, but she says don't worry. They won't harm me, plus they are paying me enough to pay rent for six months. The scene ends there, and we get back to the story of Liam and Nina. Nina is out, smoking, but suddenly, she hears some noises from inside the house. She anxiously goes to check, and sees Liam's mother and sister trying to erase his memory. She gets scared and runs to the hallway to save him. But to her surprise, Liam is already there. His memory of Nina has been erased, and he introduces himself to Nina, like a stranger. Then Liam's mother tells him to show Nina the way out. Nina gets scared seeing all this, and runs out of the place. Then we get back to Magda's story again who has reached the hotel for her job. A staff member asks her to take off all her clothes, so she can get him ready for the second skin service. Magda asks the staff, what would happen if something bad happens to my body or I die while the other person is in control? The staff tells her that if her body dies, both of you will die. But don't worry. Nothing like this has happened before. Then the staff starts the second skin device, and that man's consciousness gets transferred into Magda's body. The man wakes up in Magda's body and asks the staff, in how much time will I get my body back? To which the staff replies, 48 hours. The man spends some time playing with Magda's body, and then dresses up, and goes to the reception. There, she meets the hotel staff, Vincent. She asks Vincent for a cigarette, and they start smoking together. There, Vincent invites Magda for a party, to which she agrees. Then we see David once again, who is recording voice notes for his family. He says to his daughter, whenever you see a star twinkling, it's your father changing a bulb. Then we see Ben's story again, who again uses the device to relive his memories with Anna. He is unable to move on, and wastes his time doing the same thing again and again. Then Magda's story resumes, where the person in Magda's body has gone to a party with Vincent. There, Magda meets two girls and all of them start dancing together. The party ends soon, but all of them want to party more. So Magda takes all of them to the hotel, and hides his real body below the bed. All of them start partying, and Vincent offers a drug to Magda. She hesitantly takes it, and soon starts to lose control. Vincent tries to take advantage and starts touching her inappropriately. Magda realizes the situation, and kicks Vincent in the face. Vincent gets angry by this, and starts beating Magda brutally. Magda gets seriously injured, but the two girls save her and push Vincent away. They find Magda's ID in his bag, and realize that Magda is only 17 years old. They put Magda in a bag, and throw it near his home. Here, we get to know that both Magda and the person who was in her body, have died. 
Then we see our last story, where David's daughter is playing in the garden. Suddenly, a message pops up on all televisions that a big asteroid is coming towards Earth, and this is not a test. Everyone starts panicking, and starts running towards the safe zones. Now we see David, who is witnessing Earth's end from the space. A group of big asteroids hit Earth, and Earth turns into a red sphere of fire. David witnesses all this and starts crying. Now we see that no one is content with their life. Magda wanted to get back to her body again. Nina wanted to marry Liam, and spend her life with him. Claire wanted her God back so she can pray peacefully. Van also wanted to go back to Anna, so he can live with her. And lastly, David, who wanted to meet his daughter for the last time. In the end, David hears the voice of the real God. Who says to him, I have heard all your prayers, and now I am here for you. To which David replies, are you freaking kidding me? Don't forget to subscribe, and comment the movie you would like to see next. Thanks for watching.